y is by itself on one side of the equation. Do you see that in slope-intercept form? y equals and then some other stuff. y is by itself. That's going to be important because on half your homework, the goal is to get y by itself, and that will help you to get slope-intercept form. So y is by itself. But there are two things I also want to point out, this m and this b. Okay, I think you can get this without me giving too much help. What does M stand for? What does M stand for, Ethan? Slope. Slope, yeah, yeah. This M, that's representing your slope. That's your slope. And your slope can be a whole number. It could be an integer, like a negative whole number, or it's opposite of a whole number. Or it could be a fraction. Your slopes can be fractions, like 1 3rd, negative 2 fifths. It could be fraction. But we also have another value called the B value, and that's a special number. It's a number you've actually found a few times and that you had to find on your quiz. Notice the name of this form. You got the slope. What's the other part? What do you think? Intercept. But how many intercepts did you find on your quiz problems? You guys remember? How many intercepts did you usually find? Two, right? Two for the most part. So which one am I talking about? Which intercept? Not both at the same time, because I can't put that on one number. But the special one is the y-intercept, the y-intercept form. Slope-intercept includes a y-intercept. Why is the y so important? Because it makes my graph easier. It makes the graph easier to do. Or I could say create the graph a lot easier, more easily. Okay. I just want a reminder, what is slope? There are two words you can give to me, something over something. That would be very nice. Yes, sir? Rise over run. Rise over run. I'll put that in. Slope is rise over run. Don't forget that. That means you always have to look at what first? The rise, the vertical change, the y values. And then what do you look at secondly? Run, which is your horizontal change, which are your x coordinates. Okay, so let's look at an equation here and see if we can identify some parts. So y equals 3x minus 10. Okay, the first question I want to ask, is this in slope-intercept form? And how do you answer that question? Is y by itself? Is y by itself on one side of the equation? Yeah. So it's very close to slope-intercept form. But if it's in slope-intercept form, I need to know the slope and the y-intercept. And I don't see either one of those. Who can help me with the slope? Who can maybe identify for this equation what my slope is? Hannah? Three. three. I guess that was a 50-50, right? You could set three or negative 10. Why is it three, though? Why is it not negative 10? Because negative 10 looked... I mean, you can have a slope of negative 10. Yeah, Hannah? Okay, because they, okay, wow. Well, I'll just take that now. The y-intercept, I'm going to abbreviate y-intercept. That y-intercept is negative 10. I'm going to get back to that in a bit, though. But, but why isn't it not switched? Like, why can't it just, you know, I don't know, say that? Yep, Carly? Because on the equation that you just gave us, the y equals m, x, Okay, listen up guys. Your slope is always multiplying x. So what number is multiplying x? Go ahead and say it. 3. 3 is multiplying x, right? These two are being multiplied. That is your slope. Now, let me give you another version of your slope. Ready? Another version of your slope could have been 3 over 1. Is that true? Could so be considered in this problem, 3 over 1. Another version would be negative 3 over negative 1. Is that allowed? Yes. Can you give me another version that's different from my versions? That are still correct. So just make up numbers. 15, no. 15 over 5 would be okay. But give me another one, same. Negative 6 over negative 2. Does that equal 3? Oh, cool. Okay. Give me one more. 
Okay, good. <laughs> yep, Marshall. 24 over 8. 24 over 8? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What's the rise here? What's the run? So if you went up 24 and you made it there successfully and then you went over 8, would you still have a slope of 3 over 1 or just 3? The answer is yes. Okay, just remember you can have it in different forms. Sir? Yes, yeah. <sighs> yeah, CT, yes. Yeah. You have a one? You have to be accepted of everyone's right. ideas. Write it. I do. I accept it. Yeah, okay. Write it. So, write it. Write it. this message has been approved by Mr. A. Okay. The Y intercept. I thought these were ordered pairs. I thought the Y intercept was an ordered pair. When Mr. Ray I'm Tom Starr. I disapproved this message. <laughs> Uh, close. Marin, do you remember to find the y-intercept, what did x have to be? X had to be 0. And in this case, if you put 0 in there, you should get negative 10 for the y value. Now, I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. What's 3 times 0? 0 minus 10? Negative 10. So if x equals 0, what does y equal? If x equals 0, y equals negative 10. So you see how it mathematically works. But what I'm going to do now is for y intercept, all you have to do is write the y value, y value right there. Okay, good. If you can identify that, you're pretty set. Okay, let's do a problem here. I want you to draw another graph and make it a, oh, no, 3 by 3. 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. By three. three in every direction. One, two. Don't make them too small, as I noticed. Them. I didn't grade your quizzes, but when I was looking at them, some of the graphs are way too small. Make them bigger. They don't have to be huge, but they should be easy to put points and for someone to say, oh, that's the point. Okay. Danny, where would I put the ordered pair negative 2, 0? So tell me how, I, from the origin, where do I go? Negative 2, 0. That's negative two zero. Good. All right, let's go with um, Morris. How do I get to zero negative two? Uh, Starting at the origin. Zero then go uh, left. So sorry, zero negative two. Oh, wait. oh down. Zero negative two. All right, there you go. Got my two points. And what do I do with those two points, you think? You connect them. Connect them with the line. So go ahead and connect them with the line. All right. I saw this on a quiz and I was so sad. At least on one. Hopefully not too many. If I told you to find the slope and you calculate all the numbers, da -da 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 -da, your sign has to be what? Say it. Negative, and some of you said positive slope. I didn't grade it, but I, I just looked through it. I was like, oh. Just saw it, just glanced at it. Oh. You got the right number part, but you wrote the wrong sign. Depends on what problem it was. So, yeah, it Not all of it, but some of it. Ma'am? So that would be negative. So some people said the answer was, I don't know what the number is yet, but they put positive something. Can't be positive. Because what's happening to that graph from left to right? It's going down. Okay, guys, find me the slope. Find me the slope of this line. We're going to do this again, yeah? You mean we're going to get better at this? Yep. You mean it takes time? Yes. Yes. Oh, I didn't answer that last one. Yes, it takes time, guys. It, take me, it took me a long time to get this down. Okay, CT? It's two. <sighs> well, it can't be positive two. Well, it's negative two. You're getting there. What do you mean you're getting there? It's negative two. All right, guys, from here to here. I'm going to go down one, two. That's negative two. And then you go over two. That's positive two. So I get 
negative 2 over positive 2, which is negative simplified, two. negative 1. <laughs> negative 1. Yeah, That's okay. Quick math. What, what if you're Did you get negative one? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. If you if you could have, because you did this, you went up to positive two, over. That's what you should have done. Now, if you mix them up, you put this is rise, that's run. You got lucky, because you still get it right. But be careful. Always rise. Over the run. Always. That's how you do it. All right. But you got your slope. I'm gonna put it here clearly. M equals negative one. All right, boys. I'm getting distracted here, and I'm going to fix that problem right there with some extra work. So please don't make me give you that. All right, I got my slope. Can anyone give me the y-intercept? Can you give me the y-intercept of this graph? Y-intercept. Oh, we got to do all that math again. Well, you could, or you can look at the graph to see what is your y-intercept. Clear up the clutter there. Danny, what's the y-intercept? Close. That's the x-intercept. Okay, it's 0, negative 2. Okay, where does this line hit the y-axis? Right here, right? Can you guys identify where it hit? And then what are the coordinates of this point right here? 0, negative 2, right? So we're going to call the y-intercept, we're going to say negative 2, right? So we got those two parts. Now what I want us to do is get this graph's equation in slope-intercept form. So this is what I want. Okay, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So what's m? What's m? Negative 1. What's b? Negative. Remember, B values your y intercept. So watch, now I'm going to put in this equation y equals negative 1x minus 2. That's slope intercept form right there. X, you notice that they always almost have x and y in there? Okay, here's a deep thought. It's a deep thought, and guys, it, it's actually a thought that actually makes me feel very small, like personally. Like, I feel small in this value, ready? X and Y represent an infinite number of points. I identified two of them. I can probably identify a few hundred of them and I'm still not close to identifying all of them because how many are there? How many ordered pairs on this line? Infinite, right? These X and Ys are representing the infinite number of points. But I do know two exact measurements. That's the y-intercept and that's its slope no matter what, right? Ready? Down one, over one. Down one, two, three, one, two, three. So I got the slope, that's for certain, that's finite, I got it. And I got the y-intercept but those infinite number of points and like there's a lot of them, but you can represent it in this little equation right here. That's the cool part. Okay, let's do it again. Let's draw this graph. We'll make it a, a four by four, four in all directions. It's a little bit bigger. All right, this is going to test your um, graphing skills again. I still haven't given you graph paper because um, I want to see how you guys can do on your own as neat as you can. So hopefully on the quiz it wasn't that bad to look at that graph that was already given to you, which is nice. But I want you guys to be able to graph on your own, at least accurately. All right, I want you to put these points up there. Negative 3, 2. Put up there negative 3, 2. negative 3, 2. So that's negative 3, positive 2. That's somewhere right there. Negative 3, 2. And then I want you to put up 3, 4. 3, 4.
Now, before you connect them, if you graphed it well enough, uh, you're, you're going to be able to see what I see. And hopefully I did it too because I may have messed it up. Okay, connect them, and I hope your line looks like mine. Did your line cross the y-axis at positive 3? How many of you like it's exactly, it crosses right at positive 3 on the y-axis? How many of you like it's around there? It's pretty close, but not exactly. How many of you it's way off? It's like, oh, that's like positive 2 or 4 or 5. OK, yeah, it shouldn't be that. OK, so here I'm like, whew, I got at least close to it. But um, by the way, I'm going to give you the graphs so you won't have to do it on your own. But if you got it right here, this is good. I get crossed right there. That's a good sign. Okay, I want you guys to write the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. So what two parts do you need? Slope and the y-intercept. So find those first. Find your slope and find your y-intercept. I want both of those numbers from that graph. Oh, slope. I'm, a, I'm getting a little good at maybe I'm getting more efficient, maybe quicker, but I want to find that rise over run. Ben, your slope should be positive, negative, or zero. You're allowed to look at the graph. I'll give you another chance. Positive. Positive. Someone help me out. Why, why does it have to be positive? Just by looking at it. Danny? Because it's going down from the top right. Okay, I think you're, you're correct, but I'll, I'll say from left to right, it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You looked at it backwards, which is fine. But yeah, from left to right, what is it doing? It's going up, positive. Okay. So if you didn't get a positive value, it's not right. That it can't be right. That's on your quiz, that's on your test, that's right now. Okay, what's the slope? Uh, let's go with day. Uh, three. Close. Did you do rise over run? Or did you do run over rise? Okay. Um, Ryan. What's your slope? Yeah, I got three. Did you do rise over run or run over rise? Well, I went to that one and I went down. And then I went to that one. And I went to that one. Ryan, I, I hate to tell I'm bad with directions, so I'm like, what did you just say? Okay, no. Marshall, what did you get? I got one third. One? Did you do rise over run? Okay. Did you guys go from here to here? Is that what most of you did? No. All right, I'll go both ways, and hopefully we get the same thing. So what's my rise? Two. Positive two. You agree? Questions? Yeah. My run, one, two, three, four, five, six. Positive six. My rise over my run is one-third positive. Okay? Now... Mr. A, I did not do that. I thought of it differently. That's okay. That's good. But you still should get the right answer. From here to here. One, two, down. That's negative two. And then here, I, I kind of messed that. One, two, three, four, five, six to the left, negative six. What's negative two over negative six? Still one third. One third is that number. That's our simplified as simple as can be number. Okay. Any questions on that? Whether you went left to right or right to left? You guys okay with that? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? No. Do you get it? Well, I went. I drew the, the little things wrong because I went over five. Oh yeah, just be careful on escaping. Like I I draw the little like the little waves. Some people do one. Two, three, four, five, six. They do little dots there. Just yeah, be careful with how many tick marks you're gonna go. 
Who has the y-intercept? Olivia, what is the y-intercept of this graph? So I'm going to erase all the other stuff because that might throw people off. Okay, wh where does it cross the y-axis? Three. Y-intercept is positive three. What's the ordered pair look like? Hannah? Zero, three. Okay, but it's three. Okay, did anyone write it in slope-intercept form? If you haven't, try it. Just Is try it. Equation? Yes, put it in y equals mx plus b format. Can I, can I send it there? You may. Um, y equals one-third x plus b. Is that correct? That is... Is the slope of my y equals mx plus b form, is my slope multiplying x? Is my y-intercept adding to x? You're allowed to look at it. Yeah, yeah, these two are being added. Or they're adding to x. Okay. <sighs> you know what? Slope-intercept form is so important, so valuable, that if an equation is not written in that format, we do our best to get it into that format. So here's what I want you to do. Here's a second type of problem. 12x plus 4y equals 16, okay? That's an equation. That's a terrible x. All right, that's an equation. Yeah, write that down. This type of problem is going to ask you, you know what? That's an equation. Great. I want it in slope-intercept form because if I get it in slope-intercept form, I can do stuff with it quickly. So what is true about slope-intercept form? Remember, there's the first thing I said. Y is by Itself. Oh, nice. By no, yeah. It's by itself. Is y by itself up there? No. No. Here, here, guys. This is review of how to solve an equation with two variables. Listen, some of you are not going to get this. Y is being multiplied by four, and added with twelve x. Is that true? Yes. What undoes multiplying by four and then adding by twelve x? What do you undo first, Hannah? Not divide first. I will do that, but not first. I'm multiplying by 4 and then adding with 12x. So what do I undo first? The adding of 12x, which is what? Subtract 12x from both sides. Good. This is review. Well, for this one, yeah. Well, you said 12. I mean, both sides is always the answer. Both sides, yes, is always the answer. So if I put nothing but both sides on the test, I'll get 100. Yeah, you, you try that out and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> OK, anyway, what's 12x minus 12x? Cancel. I am left with 4y. Now listen to me, guys. We are halfway through our year. We're, we're getting halfway to Algebra 1 itself. Whether it's Algebra 1 or Algebra 1 honors, you're halfway there. Listen. We're going to have to start thinking more algebra. We're on that, that I, I keep using that bridge. We've been going back and forth because sometimes it's like, no, 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 we've gone too far. Now we take a few more steps. Now we're on the bridge and we're not going back. We're not going back to pre-algebra. We're staying with algebra one, okay? So here's how we're going to do it. This is a hard step. 16 minus 12x. Can I combine those two together? No, they are not like terms. Do not say negative, or don't say 4x. Hey, guys, I'm trying to help you. 16 minus 12x is not 4x. Please do not put that. It is not true. But 16 minus 12x is the same thing as negative 12x plus 16. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Here's the rationale. Ready? How many of you would, so here's our thought bubble. Okay, here's what we're thinking. Uh, you agree that it's 16 minus 12x. 16 minus 12x is up there. Okay, you're good with that? 
Okay, this is something you do not have to do every time. It's just the rationale behind how in the world could he just say that? Okay, 16 minus 12x, stay, change, opposite. Correct? Allowed? Okay, commutative property says, if I'm adding two things, can I flip them around? Is that allowed according to the commutative property? Look at it right here. What's the difference between those two? One has a parenthesis and one doesn't. I'm gonna save you guys some steps here because what happens is, listen, if I left it 16 minus 12x, it's not gonna look like slope intercept form for a while. Like it's gonna look, it's gonna be very different. Wait, that's not slope intercept form. Y equals mx, mx plus b. Do you guys see that? It's right there. M, no, uh, how do I, no, just rewrite it, rewrite it. I'll, I'll do it again, I'll help you out. Okay, but am I done, is Y by itself? No. <sighs> what do I have to do to both sides to get Y all by itself? Think Hannah knows, think Ben knows. <coughs> what do I do to both sides to get Y by itself? Um. So Y is being multiplied by four, what? Divide both sides by four, right? So I'm gonna divide this by four. Oh, I'm gonna do another, this is a big jump, guys. I hope you can handle it. You divide, if you divide one side by four, you're gonna divide the other side by four, right? To make it balance. You divide everything by four. Everything gets divided by four. Okay, what's uh, four y over four? Y, good, that's what I wanted. What's negative 12X over four? Negative three X. What's, okay, again, 12 divided by four is three, and it was negative, and that X is still there. 16 divided by four? Oh, that's slow percent. How nice. Yeah. Sir? So you never actually do 12X, 12X plus 16? You never actually do that? Wait, say, say that again. Like, so when you do this, you're never actually going to do negative 12x yeah, plus 16. Yeah, they do, because they don't add together. Oh, They're on like terms. Because you're not trying to solve this. Yeah, we're not trying to solve. We, we can graph from this now, but yeah, we're, that's as far as you can go with those two. You can't make them more compatible. All right, what's my uh, slope? What's my slope here? Olivia? Negative 3. It's right here. What's my y-intercept? Four. Four, right there. Okay, that's all I need to graph. We'll, we'll do that um, a little bit tomorrow. But I just want you to get in the right form. Okay, let's do another one, because I know that's tough. Okay, 2x minus y equals negative one. These problems will all look the same. They'll just have different numbers. So you'll do the same steps, but yet, again, you have to deal with different numbers. So that makes it a little bit tougher. Is this in slope intercept form? No. no. What has to be true to make something in slope intercept form? It has to look like what? What's the general weight of slope intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. Uh, that's not right there. So what do I have to solve for, everyone? Both sides. Y. You have to solve for y by doing stuff to both sides. You almost had it. OK, so we ask, what's happening to y? It's being, mm. all right guys, we're on algebra's bridge. I know this is tough. It's being multiplied by negative one. Is it being multiplied by negative one? Okay, it's being multiplied by negative one and added with two X. Okay, what undoes positive two X? I know, this is tough, guys. I'm going to do a couple more with you because I want to help you. Okay, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. All right, what's 2x minus 2x? Nothing. Cancel that. 0x is just 0. What am I left with on the left side? Negative 1. Negative 1y. Don't, that negative 1 doesn't just disappear. It's like, bye. It's gone. Nope, it's there. Can anyone tell me how to write this on this right side? Okay, this is hard. 
But if you can do this, this is a good sign, a very good sign. Try it out. I should write it on your paper, I'm gonna check. And if you're using pencil, you could easily erase. Switch. I don't exactly know what we're doing. Drop the pregnancies. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, that's, that's me. You get it? Close to switch these two. Switch those two. And don't forget the sign of 2x. Mm -hmm. Close the signs. Where is it? Yes. Uh, is that minus one? Yes. Okay. Not yet. It's okay. Is this correct? Yep. Really? Yeah. All right. I think half of you did this. And that's correct. So now listen, guys. Listen. Guys, I'm trying to help you. Because you're going to get like three or four of these. Okay. When you have two terms right here, and they're being either subtracted or added, what sign does 1 have? Negative. What sign does 2x have? Negative. Do they still have their same signs? Yeah. So you just keep their signs. All right, next step. Is y all by itself? No. No, no you got to divide everything by negative 1. Negative 1. That's three divisions in one problem. Yes, ma'am. I just fell off the I think I just blew up the bridge. Don't worry. Uh, one of your friends will dive in to the lava. Oh, wait, sorry. Bam. I hear a question only partially because of all the talking. Ma'am? <laughs> Why don't I divide by 2x? Yeah. Um, if I divide 2x by 2x, I get 1. And then I get y over x, and then 1 over 2. So uh, yeah, you could, but it doesn't give you what you want. All right, ready here, guys? I get y, positive y, equals positive 2x, positive 1. When you divide by negative 1, the signs change. That's basically all that happened. The signs all changed. All right, let's see. What's the slope here, Brian? Two. What's the slope here, Carly? Oh, excuse me. What's what's the y-intercept? Y-intercept. One. All right, guys. I'm gonna put the homework after you give me the graph of this line. <laughs> I'll give it at when the bell rings. Homework. Blah blah blah. But I'll give it sooner or later. How about that? For this? So we can have it easier? They're up there. Uh, I know, but can you just write them? They're there. I wrote them. Where? You did too, I think. You had it. Yeah. Just put them on the graph. Why do you have to be so literal? Mr. A, how about you erase everything but the word pairs? Yeah, erase everything except for the order pairs. Even my graph? Mr. A, how about you go out? No, just, just do the graph for us. Mr. A, how about we go out? Oh, uh, you can go three out. Soon you'll be able to know, like, oh, okay, I should go this far out or that far out. It just, it depends. Uh, all right, what is, what is my slope? Two. Two, right? So I know I'm going to have to go ready. Wherever I start, I'm going to go, like, up two yeah. over one, right? Or I can go up four over two. Yeah. But where do I even start? Like, that's, that's an important question. What's your y-intercept? Shouldn't there be a dot right here? Yeah. yeah, there's a dot right there, right? Zero, one. It's right there. So how do I find the other dot? What's the slope? Up two over one. That's the other dot right there. How do you Or, sorry? 
Yeah, that's a great question. What's the slope? It's two, right? We said two. But what's the rise over the run? It's one. two over one. one. Or four over two. Or ten over five. See, guys? You need to know what numbers are because then you're like, wait, two? <gasps> that's two over one. Yeah, that's your slope. All right, ready, guys? Or can I go down two over one to the left? One, two, one. That's my line. I have jumped off line. That's okay. Also, the bridge has been I'm calling it. I think I have a line. Danny, you have a little brother, right? Two little. Oh my goodness. Okay. When they come on this bridge, they'll see where you fell off. <laughs> the end. That's it. That's all the story. Yet. That's how it ends. I broke it. All right, guys, if you're quiet, I'll work on these problems with you. Really? Yeah, so if you get less help, you're welcome. Yes, sir? Emergency. If it's an emergency. Okay, right, after. I'm That's okay. Uh, it's usually during the bells. When the bells are ringing, we want to go out that door so it's not cluttered. All right, listen up. Number two through six. It says, identify the slope and the y-intercept. Then write an equation of the line in slope-intercept form. And it says in standard form. Do we have to do it in standard form? No, don't do anything with standard form because we didn't go over that. I'm not worried about that right now. All right, number two. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through maybe a couple of each type so you guys can get a good feel for it. Number two, looking at the graph. How do you find the slope? Yeah, I already see some of you, you got, you got your pen sole there and you started pointing at the first dot. Find the slope. 185. What's the rise? What'd you get? All right, and you guys went left to right, I'm guessing. You went from the top dot to the bottom dot. Is that what you did? No, you went the other way? Uh, no, That's okay. I, I don't want to get you guys confused. Get me the slope. Whatever you do, get me the slope. And I'll ask, what's the slope in just a moment? So you may have gone from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom. It doesn't matter. You should get this number here. The slope, which is the rise of a run, would be what, Marshall? Negative four. How many of you got... Negative four over one, like that's what you yeah. counted. How many of you got Wait. four over negative one? Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, do both values get you negative four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so far this is what I wanted. I wanted your slope. Then I think the easier one to get is what is your y-intercept? So where does that graph hit the y-axis? That's so important. Um, uh, Sam. Zero positive. Zero, positive five. Positive five, so your y-intercept is just positive five. It hits the y-axis at positive five. Yes, zero, positive five would be correct as well, but just five, that's your y-intercept. So is it wrong to write zero? No, it is not. I will take zero, uh, zero positive five, but your slope-intercept form will be y equals, and then you gotta fill in the blanks where they belong, Carly. Y equals negative four x. Yeah, that's the answer. So you need those three parts. Yay. All right, go ahead and do that for number four and number six. What numbers are we going through? Two through 18, even. Two through 18, even. 185, 186. Ma'am? Ryan, sorry. Okay, so number four. 
Oh. Pick two points. Do they have two points on that? Yeah, so pick them. Okay, do you have, okay, pick, pick a dot. So point to a dot. All right, so to go from here to here, do you go up or down? Neither. Neither, right? So you have zero rise. And then what's your run? Negative one, two, three, four. So zero over negative four or zero over positive four still gets you a value of zero. What's your slope? Zero. There's no there's no slope there. Or it's I time out. It's a zero slope. That's zero slope. M equals zero, yeah. And you know why we put zero? Because that's a special line. What kind of line is that? Horizontal. It's special. Remember, what is a vertical line slope? Undefined. It's special. It's different. Yes. Two through eighteen, even. Would your y intercept? Yep. Uh, the y intercept? Yeah, I found it. Okay, good. <laughs> So for number four, some of you are getting this, number four, y equals zero x uh, minus, four. minus four. Thank you. Minus four. Now, I could have made that a little bit simpler. Do you know how I can make it? This is a good answer. I'll, I'll take this today. But it could have been made simpler. Does anyone know how, Ben? y equals negative four. Those are both correct. Uh, so the first, the top one's probably what you're thinking of. Great. The bottom one is acceptable and correct as well. Number six, I'll let you do that on your own because I want you to try it out. The slope has to be, before I even say anything, it has to be looking at the graph. Just looking at the graph, I see it has to be negative. 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 Do not give me a positive number. I don't want it for the slope. It's wrong, man. Close. Yes. Thank you. Remember, I'm trying to help you out only if you're quiet. Which reduces. Yeah, write it down because I'll help you see it better. You have 6 over 8, but that's not as simple as it can be. It's negative. Mm -hmm. What goes into six and eight? Two goes into that okay, yeah, three right. times Wait. and four. Oh, yeah. no. oh, but, you know, so, uh, the slope for that number six, no, negative three fourths. How many of you got negative six eighths? Okay, which is negative three fourths easier? Hey guys, don't get too stressed out about eight through eighteen. Uh, do, if you don't get it, like you're totally not sure, skip that one. But don't do this. Come to me tomorrow and say, uh, Mister, I got to number eight, but I didn't get the rest. Uh, that sounds a lot like you did number eight and you just stopped doing the rest. Yeah. Try them out. Aww. But that's, that takes work and effort. Bye-bye, so on that note.